We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings to bring to you and your kin. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a happy new year. How about a, uh, a big round of applause for uh, Josh and Mandy and the Blanchard family singers? That is uh, that is one talented family, and we'll we'll get to a little bit more on that in a moment. Uh, but uh, want to welcome you all here to our uh, tree lighting ceremony. This is, uh, so thank you all for coming. This is actually, um, this is the uh, 13th annual. And uh, it's hard to believe. Um, but 13, wait a minute, this isn't Friday, is it? Friday? It's not, no, it's not Friday. Okay, so that's fine. We're, we're in good shape. That's all right. We're, none of you are superstitious. Anybody out there superstitious? The 13th ceremony, something bad's going to happen? No, I don't think so. Any of you like me, just a little bit stitious? Not superstitious? Okay. Uh, anyway, the, uh, we'll, we'll be fine. I'm Brent Todd. I'm your city councilor for Ward 1, and I'm pleased once again, as always, to be here. Uh, I usually start out by asking everybody some important questions, and uh, if everyone answers me with a great big yeah, that would be good. So is everybody looking forward to the holidays? All right. Is everybody ready for a school or for a work vacation? I am. I know I am. Is everybody uh, got all of their uh, decorating and shopping done? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, we have trouble with that one every year, so I'm not surprised. That's okay. You'll get there. So this is also the fifth year where we're celebrating here in the newly refurbished Boudreaux Square with our live planted tree. Just like Santa, I actually have a list here too, but everyone on this list is very, very nice. So I just want to take a moment to thank all of the following here. Uh, first of all, our Pentecook Village Association for helping to organize and publicize this event. Uh, help yourselves to the drinks and treats that uh, they have provided. And uh, thanks also to uh, Newell Post. I'd like to mention uh, the uh, new manager, uh, Vicki Johnson, and uh, she lent us the beverage containers for the hot chocolate. Thanks to Terry Maxwell. Terry is out there somewhere working hard. Uh, she's from the Pentecook Village Association also, and she arranges the raffle and all the behind-the-scenes work. She works very hard to make this event that you all enjoy here every year. So thank you, Terry. And also our friend Steve Shirtliff, who uh, arranged and actually filled out the permits for the street closure, uh, among all of his other duties. Uh, the holiday banners look great. For those of you that noticed them in town, thank you to our General Services Department for... Uh, preparing the tree this year the, with the lighting and the hanging of the banners. Um, the cookies, the cookies were made by the classes of the Merrimack Valley High School. Did you know that? Uh, under the direction of uh, wellness teacher Michelle Fridlington and they are fantastic. A shout out to Michelle, hope you're feeling better real soon. Uh, and thanks also um, to our um, uh, substitute teacher on wellness, uh, Katie, for helping out uh, in Michelle's absence. Uh, so the students baked a whole bunch of cookies. Uh, there won't be any left. Get them while you can. And for our young chefs of the future that are in attendance here, remember we still don't have a bakery downtown. So let's uh, let's get that let's get that going. Uh, also want to thank uh, Ruth Brack for uh, doing some cookies and the decorations at the gazebo that you see over there. The nice uh, uh, barrels, not barrels, but the what do you call them? The little baskets and things out around the gazebo. The boxes. <laughs> It's the hard words that get you as you get older, folks. Uh, the boxes, she really did a beautiful job. They're lovely. Thank you very much, Ruth Brack. Um, and uh, thank you to Conquer TV for once again filming this event. And uh, be sure to watch for that and all the other truly local programming that they provide. Uh, and last but not least, if you're looking for something else to do tonight, we always arrange this when our Pentecook Branch Library is open right across the street. So please stop by. They are open for business. Uh, so, you know, there are two tests. So I always announce that there are two tests to see that if we've been uh, naughty or nice this year. Do you know what those are? So one of them is that we might actually find ourselves getting a special visit from someone from the North Pole uh, and courtesy of our Concord Fire Department. So hopefully that will happen. And number two, we get all the lights to work on this tree. Then we know we've been nice this year. 
Uh, we'll be getting to the tree lighting in a moment. We have Al Brack from uh, Brack Insurance is standing by at the helm there to help us with that, which is good because if something goes wrong, he can uh, file, a, file a claim for himself there. So that's very handy. Um, so um, we thank Josh and Mandy, the Blanchard family singers, but now I have someone very, very special to thank uh, because we all wouldn't be standing around this tree tonight if it wasn't for Liz Blanchard, who started this event 13 years ago in memory of her husband. 12 years ago? 12 years. <laughs> it's the 13th one. She's going to explain all that. It's the 12th or 13th one, depending on how you look at it. Uh, but all of you know Liz, and I don't know if you, you know that Liz also continued her political career up in York, Maine. She's now a select person up in uh, York, Maine. So it's my pleasure to, uh, for the countdown to our tree lighting, to introduce the Honorable Liz Blanchard. I want to welcome you to our 13th celebration of the lighting of the Pentacle Christmas tree. The reason it's a 13th is because the first one was a month after my husband passed away and I bought the star on the tree in his memory. And so therefore, that was the first one, but it was 12 years ago, so this makes it uh, the 13th, technically. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I, it, this is very exciting because it started so small and it has mushroomed into an annual, uh, really an annual celebration for the village. And, uh, and I guess Brent Todd uh, uh, thanked everybody officially, but if it wasn't for the Pentagon Village Association, the school, the fire department, the businesses, this would not have evolved into this celebration. So thank you very much. I think we're about to have the countdown to light the tree, and then we'll have the, uh, the uh, chorus from the elementary school. So. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, ten... Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one.
might actually find ourselves getting a special visit from someone from the North Pole and courtesy of our Concord Fire Department. Uh, Derek Martel, Lieutenant here on Engine 5 in the Manor, covering Penacook and down to West Concord. So tonight we're able to give Santa a ride to the tree lighting, I believe, over at uh, Boudreau Square. Well, Santa came down from the North Pole. We have the Pentecook tree lighting tonight. All because Pentecook is such a beautiful village, but most of all because of the boys and girls. Excellent. So what's your favorite part of the night then? It's seeing the kids. It's seeing the light being turned on the Christmas tree. And it's great to see the crowd uh, gathered here. Oh yeah, oh, I'm glad you mentioned that. Yeah. I, I have people coming up to me and they say every year it seems like the crowd gets bigger and bigger. Yeah, I, I think yeah. so. Yeah. It's, it's an event that brings together several groups. You have the Pentecost Village Association, the schools, um, and uh, folks in the community and long-standing people in the community like right. yourself. So Folks come out in the cold, yeah. they stand here and they right. sing along. That The part that really uh, gets yeah. me is that when 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 your family is singing, Liz, and yeah, then they also sing when they, along. they yeah. do, and uh, yeah, so that good. that really makes it a fun event. That's it that's does. the part that that, right. that gets me. I like that. Yeah. yeah. So where are you heading after this? Well, back to the North Pole to keep working and building toys and helping Mrs. Claus get me ready for Christmas Eve. <laughs>